Okie dokie. Second example for this one. Feel free to check out the other example if you need more of a breakdown, but I'll kind of just breeze through this one. So in this problem, we're given a function on a graph, the original function f of x, and the question is uh, basically just on which intervals is it increasing, decreasing, or doing neither you know, of the two strictly. So let's start with statement A. They say decreasing over 4 to 6. So what we're looking at is from 4 to 6, does this function decrease? Yes, that is the case. So this is true. Number two, decreasing over 9 to 10. So from 9 all the way to 10, it does look like it's decreasing. It's going down from left to right. So this is true. Increasing 8 to 9. So we found one that is not true because it's increasing and then it's decreasing within 8 to 9. So we would be looking for an answer that says something like this, neither strictly increasing or decreasing 8 to 9. So we know statement A is uh, false. Let's go ahead and check the others on statement B, or for option B. Um, so 3 is true because of what we just said. Uh, let's work our way up. Decreasing over 4 to 6. So from 4 to 6, we actually said that was true from the first one. So we'll just keep that true. And then decreasing 7 to 8. It's just the opposite. It actually looks like it's increasing from 7 to 8. So that is also false, making the entire option false. So increasing, so we move on to see, increasing over 7 to 8. We just said that was true. Decreasing 4 to 6, also true. Decreasing 9 to 10. We've said all these are true at some point along the way. So C looks solid. Let's see if we can find the false one in option D. Increasing over 9 to 10 would do it because we say it's actually decreasing 9 to 10. So eliminating the others and verifying that C is correct. C is our best answer. Feel free to check out the other example for a little bit more exposure and walk through for these types of problems.